Today's lesson is about making hot chocolate. And the first thing to do when making hot chocolate is to choose the right sort of mug to put the chocolate in. This for example is a Disney mug. I don't really like Disney mugs because they're too common. There's another one which is rather nice. It's got licorice all sorts on it. But my favorite is this one because it's actually labeled hot chocolate. So the first thing to do is to take some semi-skim milk, as you can see it's from Tesco's, and pour it so that the mug is about a quarter full. Okay. Now the idea is to heat up this milk in a microwave oven so that it's piping hot and that gives an opportunity to dissolve the hot chocolate in it. So here we go. We leave it in there for one minute on full power. We'll get about a quarter mug full of very hot milk into which we will put three spoonfuls of hot chocolate. The hot chocolate that I recommend is Cadbury's. There are of course many other varieties available. For example, we have the options Outrageous and Belgian chocolate and indeed Galaxy hot chocolate drink, but my favorite has to be Cadbury's hot chocolate Let's see how we're getting on with the heating of the milk. Well, there's approximately 15 seconds to go And counting 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one and it's done so we take it out of the microwave oven and put three spoonfuls of delicious hot chocolate powder now the reason for doing uh, doing this in two stages is that we don't want lumps of hot chocolate powder inside our mug it's got to be nice, smooth and silky. So we take this hot chocolate and vigorously stir it into the hot milk. Okay. Stir, stir. It's important to stir it vigorously so that there are no lumps left inside the mug. At this stage, we add a teaspoonful of sugar, no more than a teaspoonful. Now I prefer to use uh, brown sugar instead of white sugar. I don't know, it just makes me feel better. And we put it into the hot milk, stir it up again. Okay, so that's stirred in. We put some more milk into the mug. And put it back into the microwave for another 1 minute and 30 seconds. Here we go. So I 1, sorry, 1 minute 20 seconds. It's quite important to get this timing right. Uh, hot chocolate is best served very hot. Uh, obviously you don't want to scald yourself, but it's nice to be able to sip it over a long period of time. There you are, you can see the mug going round and round inside the microwave. Just about one minute to go. Meantime, we can start putting the lid back onto our brown sugar bowl. There you go. And put it back in its place. Okay, it's good to be neat and tidy with everything. Put the lid back on the hot chocolate. And these two mugs we didn't use, so we can put them back into the mug cover. As you can see, I have a lot to choose from over here. Okay. There's one drawer full, there's another drawer full, and there's more, and some more here in the classical style. Well, you know, this variety is the spice of life, so why not spend a few pounds sterling on buying lots of mugs?
Okay, and that is hot chocolate done. You can see it looks absolutely delicious here inside the mug and there's no sign of any lumps at all. Okay, so this is Parshad Badisha signing off. Whoops, I just noticed that the mug, apart from saying chocolate, also says coffee. Never mind. It just shows that it's a versatile mug.